<laughs> Subscribe to Kittoons and let the never ending fun begin! <laughs> Klaus, Santa's grandson. Ruthie, Ruthie is taking so long to make the gift list. Come on, Ruthie. Hmm, let me see. I don't want to miss anything. Are there any chocolate bottles? Yes, we got lots of them. Well, so one for me. At this pace, do you think there will be any gifts left for us? I don't think we'll make it on time. Take it easy, babies. It's Christmas time. Friendship gift is the most divine. Although a new crystal ball... <sighs> what was that? I don't know. Let's find out. Yeah! It's the book. A cold wind is coming out from the book. Let's go to Storyland and have a look. Once upon a time, there was a joyful baby who lost his joy. Hmm, ah! what's going on here? It's a little foggy, isn't it? A little? It's very foggy. I can't see anything. But babies, there's no need to be afraid. Nothing happens. <gasps> ah! Come on, even if we are scared, we need to carry on. Don't worry, he'll be back soon. Huh? Luckily, you are here. Who's that baby? And what's the matter? Don't you know him? He's Klaus. This is the first year that he's supposed to deliver the presents to all the babies. Everything's because of this fog. He came some days ago and lost his sleigh. But the worst came this morning. Ren, his loyal friend, has disappeared. And I still don't understand why he left. We are going to look for Ren down to the south. Could you go with Klaus and help him find his pet up north? To the north? Ouch! Yes, sure, no problem. It all started a week ago. A great windstorm hit Storyland and took my sled away. Ah, oh, yes. We managed to divert it with Piggy, but the wind was too strong. That's when the fog appeared. Red and I were waiting for it to clear to recover the presents. And everything just before Christmas? Mm-hmm. I've been rehearsing the whole year to show my grandpa's laughter to all the babies. But without Ren, I can't laugh anymore. Oh, no. Where does it hurt? Do you want me to heal any wound? No, Daddy. I think his pain lies here. <laughs> Cutie, don't you see that Klaus is sad? <laughs> Lulu, what are you doing? Come here. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. That <laughs> laugh sounds familiar. Ho, ho, ho! ho, ho. 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 That's Ren. The sound comes from there. Quickly! Ren, hold on! Don't worry, we will save you! We're going for you! The presents! We're all falling! or the babies won't get anything for Christmas. Uh, no, they're falling. No! Ren! Crew, we have to save the sleigh. Let the time stop. Let it go on. Uh, yeah! Yeah, the sleigh! Great! Ho, 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 ho! <laughs> Wait, that laugh. That slate. You're in Klaus, Santa's <laughs> grandchild. Yes, and don't forget Ren, my loyal friend. Storyland Magic Tears! And that's how the babies learned that despite the cold weather, what matters the most were not the presents, but being together. Huh? <gasps> wow! Don't worry, Ren. We'll find a way to bring Christmas to all the babies in the world. Yes! We've decided to get something of our own. So no baby in the world is left without a present tonight. Wow! Aww. All the presents to the sleigh! Merry Christmas, babies! Merry Christmas.
make sure that no one else forgets about Storyland and about reading its stories. And through reading, they would always be together. <laughs> and their memories and stories would live forever. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! Ho, ho, ho! Listen to stories from your favorite series now. with a bit more energy. On one, two, three, and... There were three explorer babies who dreamed of a colorful world. A big tree, it's a sign. It took the babies to another land. And they, they discovered a world under the rainbow. <laughs> it came out of its roots and a big crack opened and fantasy world was in danger. The pink baby tried to save us, and with her board... Not board, oh? you're singing it wrong. Sword, it's with her sword. There's not much difference. And with her sword, she tried to close it. But she disappeared and came back to her world. It's the baby sword song, Everything Has to Be Perfect. Let's hear the backup singers. Pink, green, and blue. And any other colors that we're going to find. It doesn't matter where you are, I can see you, you can see me. This is our greatest power. Again, from the top. I need a break, and I'm thirsty. Ugh, nap time. You don't get it, it's a very special song. Hmm, huh? Hmm. No breaks until you know it by heart. I'm not moving from here. Me neither. <sighs> I can't do it without the rest. <laughs> okay, okay. Dina, what's the matter? It's almost perfect. Almost perfect is not enough for the baby Sora song. <laughs> I'll go with her. Come on, Nara. Dina! Where is she? She's very weird with all this song thing. Why is it so important to her? Huh? What is that? This way, Nara. <gasps> How cool! A magic sword. I'm sure Dino will love it. <laughs> wow, I'm strong. Huh? Uh, it'll be Nessie doing his stuff. Come on, Nara. They'll be amazed. Back to the rehearsal. And with her sword, she tried to close it. But she disappeared and came back to her world. Babies, babies, babies. Hey, look what I just found. A sword, like in the song. <gasps> wow. wow. No, it can't be. No. But what's up now with Dina? She's acting in a very strange way. Huh? Mine, mine, ah! mine. Ah! Who's that baby? <sighs> She's so, so beautiful. Hmm. You take sword, Stella. Now fantasy world, boom! She said that something is gonna explode in the fantasy world. Will it be a balloon? <laughs> Danger! Magic of the world! Help! Is it a riddle? Your costume is so cool. I love it. No costume. Stella wants adventurers. Adventurers will save fantasy world. I'm a strong adventurer. I'll show you. Uh, uh. Ha! Mm, okay. Adventurers United! Adventurers Pink! Wow! Wow! wow. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Objects, magic, worlds, fantasy, boom! Tina! They took the sword of our friend Stella! Our friend Stella we have to find, because I can tell something's not fine. Fantasy world will fall apart. We must do something, but where should we start? How, How many, many worlds are, are there? there? Storyland, Tutti Fruity Bay, Baby Bottle Valley, and Fantasy World. Four magic of each world or Fantasy World, boom! Explosion! It seems to me that the special pacifiers of each world are the key. Let's go to Bottle Valley. We need help. Hey! Huh? Tina? Dina? Stella? 
Stella? It's been a long time. They know each other? I don't know. Stella miss you. Ah! There's no time to lose. The four special pacifiers we must obtain. Or we won't see Fantasy World again. Let's go! Uh, uh, we need the golden pacifier. Oh, bring it back, huh? Yes, magic, more pacifier. We must get the rest of the special pacifiers quickly. Run, run! Help, help! Ah! Hold on! Help! Ah. Don't let me go! From Tutti Fruity Bay. Ready. Team B, ready to go and look for the special pacifier to Storyland. There we go. We will go to Fantasy World to search for the diamond pacifier and... Diamond! Ah! Fantasy World is in danger. We must do something and fast. What we need to do is to find the diamond pacifier. Let's go. Yes, yes let's, let's go. go. Hey, Narvi, why do you think of Stella so much? It's just that she's so brave. Do you think she'll be thinking of me too? Hmm, let hmm. me see. Oh. Hmm, hmm, not really. Her mind is a mess. She only thinks about the whole Dina and Tina. Let's go, no baby. No wonder. Fantasy world is about to fall apart. Hey. <laughs> Hi, babies. Wow, I love your pajamas. Special pacifier. We need it to save Fantasy World. We must hurry. Please. Mm, let's go. I'm sure it'll be at the Tasty Factory. Seriously, where did you get your pajamas from? If I were a pacifier, where would I be? Maybe around here. Careful, Marvy. Ah! 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 You better be quiet. Hmm. Hey, hey! What a wonderful pajama! Thank you. Have you seen the special pacifier? Hmm. I saw it yesterday at Raspberry Lake. But don't worry, it's in a safe place. Hey, the jellies have it. Go get them. Hey, come here! Not so fast! We need the pacifier. Ah! No, the pacifier! <laughs> Give it back! Nine! No time! Fantasy, boom! Ah! Oh. Maybe it's here. Or here. Here? We'll never find it this way. Ah! Ah! Run! We must get out of here. This way, run! Over here! But we can't leave without the diamond pacifier. I got the diamond ah! pacifier. What's going on? Hurry up. There's no time. Looks like there's no one around here. Ayo! We are looking for the special pacifier. But you have to shout louder. Our efforts are not enough. We need a miracle. Huh? Hey! <gasps> Are you looking for this? It's a miracle. Yes, thank you, Sydney. There's no time to lose. We must get back, no excuse. Yes, hurry up. Let's go. Hey, babies, there you are. Do you have it? Great. Wonderful. <laughs> Hopefully, they'll get the Tutti Fruity one. We've got it. Great, we've got all of them. No more chat. To the hole. But it's very dangerous. What if you disappear again? We must throw special pacifiers. Magic, worlds, together, and fantasy, no boom. Go! Yeah! Let's go to the fantasy portal. Stella, I... First magic! No. no! And what do we do now? Boom! Fantasy world is going to end. It seems like we've come to a dead end. Stop crying! Dottie, give me your pacifier! <laughs> You, great adventure, strong. Come on, Stella, you can do it. Ah! Ah! Over? Whoa! We made it. You are magic and special.
special. Well done, babies. Pink, green, and blue. Pink, green, and blue? <gasps> you are the babies from the song. The song is real. Yes, the baby sore song is all about the day that Stella fell into the hole and saved Fantasy World. I wrote the song for her. Song? Mine? Ready? Pink, green, and blue. And many other colors that we're going to find. It doesn't matter where you are. I can see you, you can see me. This is our greatest power. I love it. Pink Magic Tears! Aren't you going back to your world? For now, I'll stay here. <gasps> Fantasy, no boom, but in my heart, boom, boom. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> ideal for the most mysterious night of the year, the night of the baby-eating witches! Uh, a witch, witches? But they don't exist. It's just a celebration. A celebration with very evil witches huh? that turn babies into huh? mice mm -hmm. and eat them! Eat! Ah! Hey, it was just a joke. <laughs> Come back! Hey, Dreamy, are you ready for Halloween? For sure I am! Hi, babies! <laughs> Sorry. Ah! Oh, my head. Ah! What? Is this the first time you see a talking cat? Ah! Ah! Oof. <gasps> ah! <sighs> it was you, Stormy. Okay, let's keep on with the training. Okay, okay, let's move on. Ah! But why doesn't it fly? It's the broom. It lost its powers. I'm the worst witch in the world. <laughs> Maybe it's because an non magical baby has seen us. <gasps> This is totally forbidden by the witch manual. I know. Maybe the enchantment has uh, stopped working. And why don't you try the new spell on the broom? It's not difficult. That's it. But which one? This one is to become a giant. No. Turning into a frog. No. This one. Fly pie. All that I need can be found in the forest. An ant teardrop. Centipede shoes. Hmm. Hmm. Ah! A dog! <laughs> What's wrong, Spot? Huh? Wow! What a cool uh, witch costume! Uh, hmm. Looks like being around non-magical babies does not affect my powers. Uh, sure. It's a costume, haha. <laughs> I'm Agatha. Just a normal baby, you know? <laughs> I'm Dottie. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, uh, just normal baby stuff. Nothing magical. Ah! It's a recipe! What is it? Uh, a cake. I'm just missing some things. Can you help me? Of course! Have fun! Come on, everything is absolutely normal. Ouch! Hmm, ha! Uh, wh what is this? If it is a joke, it, it isn't funny! Yes, monstrously delicious! <laughs> huh? Wait a minute. This broom is not my broom. Ow! Oops, sorry. Ah! It's, it's from a real witch. Look, it's, it's magic from a witch. It was flying and the cat talks. Witches, Witches don't, don't exist. exist. How come? You'll see. Hmm. <laughs> Look, here. <laughs> Great. Ah! Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, look, it must be the witch. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Come on, I'll show you. Mm-hmm. <gasps> she wants to put Dottie in her cauldron and eat her. We must help her. Come on, witches don't exist. See for yourself. The cauldron is so warm that it'd be nice to take a bath. Don't you think, Dottie? Which witches do exist. 
I told you. We have to save Dottie. If we run all at the same time, maybe she'll get scared. Ah, you won't eat Dottie! Huh? Wait, we witches don't eat babies. Ah! So, witches are not evil then? Ah! Oh! Ah! Everything's my fault. I'm the worst witch in the world. Well, maybe not the worst one. We're talking cat! Ah! <laughs> You're just learning. I'm sure the spell book has the answer. Trust yourself. I know. Here it is. The spell to undo it. That's it. Huh? Wizard of time, open the door and let everything be like before. <gasps> I made it. Yes! Yes! What a day! <laughs> well, it turns out Connie was right. Witches do exist, and they're good. Although, I'm still learning. Nonsense. You can move objects with a finger snap. And cast reversible spells. And fly with a broom. But today's most magical thing was finding new friends. Thank you for trusting me. Magic Tears! <laughs> That's a witch's night. <laughs> <laughs> and the mystery of the crazy boots. Good morning, Scarlet. Good morning, Martin. Huh? A sock. Mm. This must be yours, my lady. Indeed. Thank you, Martin. My pleasure. I'm the best helping my friends, don't you think, Mouse? Hmm. <gasps> don't worry, Bowie. Wait! Uh, ah, yes! <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, no! The ladder is shaking! <laughs> ah, I'm coming! Ha! Huh? Thank you, Martin. My pleasure. I am the best sheriff. What a lovely day, Mouse. I love helping my friends, but it's so exhausting. <sighs> now to eat. Time to recharge. <laughs> okay, Mouse, for you two. Mmm, I love cheese. Come on, Mouse, time to sleep. Good morning! My cape, my hat, my sword, my sheriff badge, and my... Uh, where are my boots? Ah, ah my boots! You won't catch me! <laughs> but you can't get me! <laughs> Oof, I'm tired. Mmm, smells like delicious cheese. Oh, this nice smell comes from Storyland. Babies! <gasps> Once upon a time, there was a sheriff in town whose boots jumped and walked all around. <gasps> ah! <gasps> Look! Huh? What is that? Those boots are alive. I'll take a picture uh, so we can see them better. Ugh, impossible. They're too fast. Huh? I'm sorry, but I don't understand. He says this is a disaster. I'm Martin the Sheriff, and I don't know what's wrong with my boots. Could it be a spell? Hmm. If it's a spell, I cannot tell. But I know nothing about spells, and without my boots, I can't work. You must help me, please. Of course. <laughs> come, come on, let's, let's get, get them. them. <laughs> Careful, they can come out of anywhere. Hmm? Hey, there they are, that way. We've got them. Huh? Ha, whoa. No, no, no. Now they're going separate ways. We'll never catch them. Nothing of that. Let's form two teams. You'll see. Dottie, Connie, Lady, and Jenna go for the right one. And the rest with me for the left one. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Ow. Don't let it escape. Baby. 
beast. Can you see anything? Nothing here. Here neither. No luck. Go get the boot! Oh, we got tangled. <laughs> that I'm so hungry. <laughs> run, lady! Ah, ah! Lady, run, but not so fast. Help me! Help. Mm -hmm. And my cheese? But what happened? Here, you got the ah. answer. Oh, how cute. <laughs> the two little mice. But how did they end up inside? The key is in my favorite food. Maybe some cheese fell inside the boots and the mice got inside of them. No wonder. That cheese is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Sometimes things are not what they seem to be. And every mystery has an explanation. Together, you have helped me to get my boots back. Yeah! Thank you, babies. Without you, I couldn't have made it. Storyland Magic Tears! And that's how the tale of Martin and Boots ends. Together they solved the mystery and made new friends. What happened, lady? Are you okay? You know what I miss? That incredible cheese! <laughs> <laughs> Fireflies. We have to prepare for cry groups because today we're expecting guests. Come on, babies, you're doing a great job. Hmm, it's a perfect day to visit Tutti Fruity Bay. Ah, no way. That cloud is big and gray. Or wait, it looks like the shadow of a baby who wants to play. Leave me alone. Hey. Oh, that was easy. Hmm, Storyland is calling. Something must be happening. Let's get changed and go. <gasps> Once upon a time, there was a baby who would adventure in the moonlight and sleep at sunrise. It's a new path. Whose could it be? <laughs> no, no, and no! I already told you no! Who could that angry baby be? There's only one way to find out. I don't want to go out right now. If you want, you can go. Who is he talking to? He's Peter and I'm his shadow. His shadow? I'm tired right now. Let me sleep. Well, if you didn't go out to so many places at night, you wouldn't spend all day sleeping. I don't go out to that many places. I just go to... to thousands of places without me because I disappear at night. Of course. If there's no light, there's no shadow. What if we come up with a plan to have fun? I bet their fight would be over and done. I'm more into flying. Me too. Come on, I'll race you. But a little bit later, because right now, I'm tired. See, it's clear that Peter goes out at night because he doesn't want to be with me. No, it's not that. What I do at night is... It doesn't matter, never mind. I just need to sleep. Hmm, he didn't tell us what he does at night. We must find out what he does at night if we want to prevent another fight. Hmm. Shh, be quiet. They'll hear us. Careful, you stepped on me. Ow! Hmm? Surprise! Surprise! Hooray! Go, Peter! How cool! I love surprises. Did you come to help me? Um, yeah. We weren't spying on you. Wow! It sparkles! It's a playful little firefly, but it looks like it's about to cry. Yeah, she lost all her friends. We've been looking every night, but there are so many places to search that it's impossible, and every night she glows a little less. We'll help you, but I don't understand why you didn't ask us for help sooner. I don't know. I thought that I could handle it by myself. She's barely even glowing. Oh no! Her light is fading! What a cool flute. <laughs> the music makes her sparkle. Don't stop playing. They'll sparkle and we'll be able to find them. And there are more of us to search now. Yeah! Search and search, search for the light. These little bugs can hide away. Look everywhere, they're not easy to find. They are so cute, they just want to play. The little lights that move all around. They're always playing. 
swaying, they fly up and down, and they glow in the darkness. They're really funny, and they love this tune. They're coming out to dance with the moon, and they glow in the darkness. Together we will find them. Oh, I can't take it anymore. We're going to find them. Hang in there. Ah, over there! Hurry! Wow! So ticklish! What am I doing here? It's nighttime. I finally found them. That's what I was doing during the night. Searching for them so they could be together. But why didn't you tell me? I could have helped you. I know Storyland much better than you do. You think so? On guard! I can tell you've been practicing. <laughs> Come on, I hope you both win. <laughs> Thank you. Next time I need some help, I'll ask. And next time I promise to listen to Peter. When we work as a team, we solve problems with ease. Thank you, babies. Sorry, and magic tears! And that's how Peter's problem was brought to light, and he and his shadow would never again fight. Where were you? You're a little late, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, shadow, I'll raise you. <sighs> Let me sleep a little more. Now I'm the one who needs to rest for a little. <gasps> Not this, not that, uh, not this. Huh? Wow, beautiful. You look wonderful, Lulu. <laughs> Let me have it. Yeah, it's a beautiful cape. Oh. Whose might it be? I think it belongs to a granny. No way. Huh? It's from a flying wolf. <laughs> super wolf! Yeah. yeah, right, super wolf. Mm. Don't you remember? It's from a tail. The giant baby doll's handkerchief. <laughs> Let me try it. Tell us, tell us. A rabbit! Do you see it? No, let me have it. I want to see me it. Me too. I'm next. Well, I see the shadow of a baby with a super cool hat. Ooh. It's not a baby. It's a gorgeous house. It's my turn. Now I see, is that Super Wolf? Why is it wearing a grandma's nightgown? <sighs> it looks like this cape belongs to a baby. Well, we have to find out whose it is. Hmm. And whose could it be? <gasps> Dina! If you don't wait for your turn to speak, I'll be clueless for a week. We found this cape in my trunk, but uh, uh, we don't know who it belongs to. It's magical, try ah. it! Wow, what a cool magical cape. From my crystal ball, it won't escape. Uh? It's a duck or a swan. Huh? Sharp in the eye, <gasps> it's a rainbow I look upon. Maybe the baby lives there. Let's go! <laughs> wow! I love Rainbow Lake! But it looks like no one lives there. And there's no duck, nor a swan, not even a rainbow. We must look for the baby in the lake, and then we'll understand the mystery of the cape. In the lake, but inside or outside? Low or high, it's a baby, not a fly. Okay, you have no idea. We'll look in pairs. Connie, you come with me. And I'll be with Dottie. Oh, whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Can't with you. Shh, I heard something. There's someone over there. We, we got, got you, baby. <sighs> Five more minutes. She doesn't change. Uh, but it was another sound. Uh, I don't know. Huh? Come on, babies. Where are you going? That way. Where? Ah. <laughs> uh? You. I'm Sydney, guard and protector of the rainbow and all of its stories. But uh, what are you all doing here? 
It's just that I found this cool cape, but we still don't know whose it is. We just want to return it to the baby. It's very special. It gives us vision. Familiar, weird, incredible. That's, That's it. it, yeah. yeah. There are things from a wonderful land. I think I can help you. Would you give it to me? This cape is not a regular cape. You'll see. Careful! Hold on! I've lost control! That was close! Yes. Oof. Uh, but that book? Don't trip or lose your shoe. Bring down the book for me to view. Uh. Ooh. Wow! That book will take you to the owner of the red cape. Besides that, she misses it very much. Now, you must continue the journey on your own. Wow. wow! Many, many years ago, all the babies from the tail and the valley used to live in peace. But the babies from the valley stopped wow. reading, and little by little, they began to forget their favorite characters and their tales until they almost disappeared. Oh, no! That's why the book's pages are blank, right? Like Sydney. But now you can solve this because every day you'll live a tale, and with the story, a new book will prevail. Ah! Whoa! Ah! Ah! Whoa! Uh, oh, oh, wow! It's a new land. Look, over there. It's like the book from the lake. Will the cape baby live here? Where will those roads lead? Look carefully Whoa. at the sign and you'll know where to go. <laughs> Every road is a tale that you'll be able to live. A new book will prevail. Storyland, the world of stories. Part oh, two. Where are we? Will the red caped baby be here? Mm -hmm. Huh? Who's the baby? Hi. Oh, are you new here? <coughs> Ouch. 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 I'm missing something here. A red caped baby. Who are you? Your basket. <gasps> My red cape. <coughs> The, the baby, baby we, we were looking, looking for. for! I made one with pieces of fabric, but it's not the same. The red one is unique. It's made out of some fabrics that can only be found once every thousand years. Oh, ah! Thanks, thanks. <laughs> oh, I'm Scarlet. Hmm? Storyland's famous designer. Uh -huh. Scarlet. Does uh, she sound familiar to you? Mm -hmm. Not me. Are we in a tale? I cannot tell. But where huh? do you come from? Mm. I'm famous. I only have one client now because uh, I get distracted and deliver the mm. orders late. But I have to sign some cool <laughs> clothing. Look, uh, and my basket? Oh no, I've lost it. Uh, uh, I must go. I have to make new clothing and deliver it before the third bell rings. Or I'll lose my only client. Where did I leave it? Mm. Wait, it flew away that way. Oh no, aha, uh -huh. wait. Not here, not here. Where did the basket fall? The basket you will not find. But together, let's use our mind. Ugh, goodness, I'm exhausted. But no way. Uh -oh. There's no time left and no material to design the clothing. I'll lose my only client. <laughs> no worries. You have us and a cape made out of pieces of material. We'll transform it into beautiful clothing. Really? You're the best. Follow me. Mm-hmm. Did you hear that? And this is how we do it. Oh. I want to help. What can I do? I know huh? how to do this. Oh. Ha! Wow. How do you do it? You fly. I have a friend called Peter who knows how to do it too. My wolf loves it. What? What? Is there a wolf? Yes, her name is Kara. She likes to eat a lot. Such a beast. <laughs> wolf will be and into your arms will flee. Into my arms? She will eat me! Hey, the scraps! But where are you going? Such an excuse for not sewing. What a cool game! Scarlet, don't get distracted or we'll never finish on time. The bells! Okay, okay, let's see. First, we draw the patterns. Then, we place the scraps over them. And last to sew. 
I just needed a bit of direction. I made these outfits for when you come back to Storyland to live more adventures. You're the best. Thanks, Scarlet. Storyland Magic Tears! And this is how Scarlet, with focus and inspiration in mind, designed and delivered clothes one of a kind. Wow! Where do you come from? Wow, what beautiful clothing! I think we'll have many adventures with these outfits. Impossible to fall asleep with that cricket. Someone should tell him something. Mr. Cricket, I need my rest. I'm a growing baby, you know. <sighs> Hi, Connie. What's wrong? You can't sleep either? I've got that cree cree sound stuck in my head. What's wrong with that cricket? Police should give him a ticket. I think the noise is coming from there. Hmm, something's going on in Storyland. <sighs> I'm so sleepy. <gasps> Once upon a time, there was a baby who lied all the time, like a puppet from a show. <gasps> ah! Hey, look, over there. Incredible. We're leaving. Yeah, it's always the same. Hey, don't go, babies. Uh, I don't know where my puppet is. Yeah, yeah, of course. When I find it, I'll do the show for you. I promise. <gasps> How can it be? His nose grows like a tree. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. It happens many times. Isn't it fun? Uh, hmm? Look, he just said he lost his puppet, but he's got it there. <gasps> it's true. Let's see. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Pinocchio. Pinocchio, you've got the puppet behind you. Oh, it was here. I didn't realize. I'm <laughs> so messy. Mmm, how strange. His oh. nose is growing again. Now that you found your puppet, you can start the show, right? Yes, yes! Mmm, no, I can't. Because, uh, because... I got a cold. Yes, I got a super cold. Achoo. Oh, hmm, this is very fishy. Looks like someone's lying. Let me take your temperature. Whoa! Whoa. Hmm, you don't have a fever. <laughs> Pinocchio doesn't have a cold. A lie, we've been told. Why do you laugh so much? Me? I never lie. Hey, watch out. Your nose grows every time you lie. 
No, 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 it's not true. I haven't told a single lie in my entire life. I swear. Wow, look how it grows. Is it that big? I can't see it, but how cool. What do you think if we... Whoa, Whoa. be careful. Oh. Ah. It is so big that things get stuck and tangled. <laughs> yes, you look like a coat rack. <laughs> it is so long that you can tightrope walk on it. Hey, get off my nose. Some respect. Oh, no. Crick. Crick. I'm so sorry, Crick. I didn't want to. Oh, I think I'm stuck. What a nosy mess. Crick, are you all right? He says my nose blocks the entrance. The light does not pass through, and it is dark. Oh, poor thing. He's afraid. Please, you have to help me save Crick. Huh, of course. On one, two, and three. Crick! Ah, nose coming! <laughs> See what happens when you lie? Lies only bring trouble. And along a nose, then the fantasy falls. <laughs> <laughs> well, truth is that there was a good reason for so many lies. I was lying to compete in a high jump event and I needed a long pole. Well, you have to be a bit crazy to try to jump using your nose, huh? It's just that I've never won a first place award and I wanted to be the best at something. But what's the point of lying for that if you can be the best with your puppet and make your friends happy? You're right. I've hurt my friends because of my lies. And you too. The truth is that I can live without winning a contest, but not without my friends. Oh, <gasps> my nose! Look, he told the truth. So you can put on the puppet show now. Yes, I can't wait to surprise my friends. Maybe I'll tell them the story of a baby whose nose never stopped growing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, babies. Story and magic tears! And that's how Pinocchio's nose went back to normal. He put his lies to an end and won the award for the best friend. Look, alien! Hey, stop lying or your nose will grow like Pinocchio's. <laughs> <laughs> and here is where this great adventure ends. 